Hi, and today I'm filming a comparison video on a complexion product, actually two complexion products, I guess, because I'm comparing them. We're getting off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> it's evening for me, so this was a very smart time to decide to film a complexion video, but it's okay because I'll probably stay up for a couple more hours and we can, we can compare. So I have been lusting after this product for a very very long time this is the milk hydro grip primer i got this from selfridges once it became available there um selfridges is a uk department store but they ship internationally unfortunately if you do want it and you live in australia you'll have to pay a crazy amount of ship for shipping it already costs like 41.50 australian um, so then you have to add in that $45 shipping rate. So if I were you, I'd grab a bunch of friends and then just split the cost um, between you guys. And then you also have to account into the fact that they do add customs at the end. What I ended up doing was opted for paying for Selfridge Plus, Selfridges Plus. So that is where you pay a certain amount. So I paid $70 Australian. I think in the US it's 50, but you get free shipping year round. So you should be spent, you should be shopping a lot on Selfridges to make up for that amount that you've just spent. <laughs> and then I guess the customs fee is just something that you have to deal with. Yep, so I got this one and I got a, the Flex highlighter, which I don't know if you saw my last video, but it shattered. Love that for me. I fixed it today with some rubbing. I fixed it today with some rubbing alcohol. Um, and I'm comparing it to the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer, and it's called the Dewy Foundation Grip. This is actually available at Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima or Mecca.com.au. So if you're in Melbourne, it can't go into a store. But it does cost like $70 or something ridiculous. I don't know what the cost is, but it costed around $40 bucks, um, from Selfridges. So I ended up just getting it because I, for the sheer reason that I wanted to do a comparison. So if you are unable to get the Milk Hydro Group Primer in your country, you'll be able to get this and we'll see if this is a worthy component. Component? Am I... Am I serious? Se serious? Seriously? Are you ser Are you serious? Opponent. There we go. So I'm going to do like a half face thing and I'm going to do the same exact thing on the whole face. I was going to do a soap brow versus the Fenty brow wax comparison as well. And also I was going to pair two palettes to each other, but I was like, that's just too much. And why watch this video? I don't know. I just, I, I can do separate videos on those, but I think I will try the Fenty brow wax while we're here. Um, otherwise I'll just be doing like a regular foundation routine that I've with the foundation that I'm used to. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. I think I've spoken, talked your ear off for too long. So I would just start by talking about how much you get in each. So, um, in the Milk Hydro Grip, and you can tell which one has more product, but the Milk Hydro Grip, you get 45 mils. So you get 1.52 fluid ounces. And with the All Nighter Ultra Glow, you get 30 mil, which is one fluid ounce. So this is like the amount that you get with a regular foundation. And this is a bit more, which is cool. So this is probably already better value for money, which is interesting why they would create something similar, but end up not putting as much product in there. Uh, maybe it's a regulation thing. Um, I looked at the ingredients and they've kind of, in certain aspects, they're pretty similar. Sorry, the ingredients are so hard to read because the writing is so tiny, but essentially what I think gives it that little sticky feeling, that grippy feeling, the reason why everyone rushes to the this um, this milk primer is because it's like supposed to grip onto oh, your, grip your foundation and not slide off and not slip off. And so it hasn't really got a um, smoothing texture because you're not trying to smooth your skin, you're trying to keep that foundation from going away. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty much the same ingredients at the beginning, like water, glycerin. Um, but I think the one thing that actually is the thing that keeps it, makes it sticky and grippy is the agave or the algae, right? So yep, yeah, this is his agave, but this is further down in the list. Agave tequilana leaf extract. Oh, so like tequila, like what they make to make tequila, what they use to make tequila. Yep, they have the agave tequilana stem extract as well. But this has a couple more skincare ingredients in it, like niacinamide um, and hemp seed extract and other interesting things. And this has a couple of colorants to give it that blue color, that greeny blue color, and this doesn't have any. So that's that's basically it. Let's get into it. I'm sorry for taking this long. So I'm going to start with the Milk Hydro on the left side of my face and the... Oh, 
little bit of an all-nighter ultra growth face with face primer on the right side of my face okay I can't smell anything so I'm just gonna dot that on my face on this side and and I've never tried both of these by the way so this is interesting so I don't really know what I'm gonna be looking for probably should have tried at least one of them so it is very um sticky and it's not gliding onto the skin it's like kind of like more of a um you know you have to spread it out evenly in your own way I apply a tiny tiny bit more on my like funga we can't speak today so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it can, I'm not sure if you could notice but my skin's going a little bit red as I apply it okay it's already now like sticky yeah it doesn't give much slip so you have to be really quick the instructions tell you to leave it for a minute when you've applied it so let's do the other one does this one have instructions on the actual no this doesn't okay making sure that I'm still recording because we all know how it can get so I'm gonna use my other hand because this has already got the residue but my hands pretty sticky oh this one comes out clear the focus so this one's actually pretty pretty similar in texture but I get a bit more slip when I'm applying it so it's a bit comes out a bit more fluidy fluid fluidy it's a bit more fluid oh my goodness make sure that does I I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyes too with the milk one because I don't think I I think I avoided the under eye area because I want to see how it goes under the eyes too I don't know if that's all allowed but do you know oh this one also kind of makes my face a little bit red when I apply but maybe it's just because like I'm touching my skin a lot this one's a bit stickier when you touch it my face on this side kind of still feels a little bit wet which is weird this one doesn't feel okay let's see this if you can see no I don't think you can this side is ever so slightly a bit stickier just slightly while this is kind of drying i'm just going to quickly just do my eyebrows with this fenty i don't really know how to use it but i'm going to try to do what i was doing with the soap brow method that i've been trying out the past two days so this is cool i'm just gonna apply it so this is like easy peasy you don't need a spoolie i think i've been watching a bit too much um harush she was doing a video with Rokael and Beyonce's hair stylist. I think they've both done work on Beyonce before. And um, they kept talking about spoolies and they kept saying spoolie. Spoolie. All this feels like so brows. It's kind of cool. It just flattens them down. Interesting. Okay, and then I'm going to just brush through it. I like this because unlike soap brows, it doesn't leave um, like soap particles. I think I need to tweeze a bit better there. Oh. But it's completely like settled everything down, which is hard for my eyebrows especially. And this comb is kind of cool. Look at this. Sorry, that's really bright. I'm going to turn the brightness a little bit down. And I'm just going to use my favorite brow pomade from MAC on my eyebrows. Because last time I used the pencil and it didn't, to my soap brows at least, and it didn't stick. The pomade seems to work a little bit better. It just gives me an interesting shape that I'm not used to with my brows. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this shape. I think I need to thin out my eyebrows a little bit. I just did my eyebrows and I cleaned them up a little bit and primed my eyelids. And now I'm going to do the foundationers. I need to stop saying it like that. Let's do it with this brush, okay. Let's use the Real Techniques buffing brush. This is a really good brush. I used to have like the I love, like the old one like the I think the first edition or the second edition of it um but I really like this color I'm gonna use one of my tried and true foundations this is the Touche Eclat by YSL just because I want to use something that I like know and trust kind of thing and this is a pretty glowy foundation so I'm excited to use it again because I haven't used it in a while I'll put a couple pumps on here and then I'm gonna buff it in might be running out soon okay so let's start on the right side which is where I put the Urban Decay foundation I feel like they should just apply the same almost. I feel like it's lost its group. I might have waited a bit too long to apply. Should you not wait too long? Oh, no, it's still sticky. It's fine. Oh, I don't remember if it's the foundation that's making it look good, but it's applying really nicely on the skin. Oh, I don't remember if it was the... 
foundation or okay this is like applying so nicely but again i don't know if it's our found if it's just the foundation or if it's the primer so so far it's applying really well on this side so i'm gonna apply some on the other side Ooh, okay okay it's definitely applying differently on this side i don't actually don't know if you can tell but on this side it applied so seamlessly no streaks and this is just already being a bit streaky i find it interesting with these grouping primers because they actually they are actually proven to make a difference than like a regular primer like whatever kind of primer you use like you know the silicone ones or pore filling ones like i guess you can tell with pore filling but these are the ones that dramatically change the experience that you get with your foundation so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to take a little bit put it, apply it just extra layers on and then i'm going in with a sponge because that's just what i usually do and i don't really want to stray away from what i usually do because otherwise what's the point of doing a review if it's not going to be how you usually do your makeup if you know what i'm saying because that should hopefully even everything out yeah i don't know it's really interesting i wasn't expecting there to be such a dramatic difference like from the get-go okay let's apply some concealer i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury magic away concealer um as like my correcting shade i'm gonna finish this concealer so quickly there's like nothing in it and i'm gonna cover these little this little cluster okay even the concealer on this side is more textured than this side this is interesting and let's see how it looks on the forehead okay yeah definitely this is smoother than this side i don't even know if you can tell maybe i should turn down the lighting a bit i don't know if that helped turn the lighting back up again. and then this is nothing new just a highlight i go over it with the um colourpop no filter concealer just does a little bit of a highlight I won't do too much today i'll just do the regular spots that we that i always do i don't i feel like you can tell this is way smoother than this side this is interesting huh isn't it urban decay might be coming through they might for powder i'm going to use uh, Laura Mercier um, under the eyes mainly and then just a little bit of Australia's Fresh and, fresh and Flawless um, on the face because we'll set the face. Let's just do it. I don't usually completely set the face all the time but I don't know. When in Rome I guess. I'm just using Laura Mercier because it's just what usually what everyone's got and wow that has set it so flawlessly like it looks smooth it looks very smooth this looks smooth too it is applying smooth but it hasn't forgiven it hasn't forgiven the texture however it filled in the lines a bit better like this if i move my eye a little bit you can see there's still some this increasing which i might have to actually just blend out but on this side there hasn't been that much creasing did the light drastically change or was that just me so I guess there's like pros and cons to both of them. So I'm now just powdering the rest of my face. Because I want to see how it looks with powder on. Looks good. I don't see anything wrong. They both applied powder very nicely. I'm just going to bronze. Really, I'm going to... Freaking hell. I'm going to bronze with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in medium, number two. Just with the same brush I used for powder. But this is a really, really, really amazing powder. Like, it just applies so smoothly anyway. I'm using this Morphe palette in the shade Donut to contour. Uh-oh, I got the hiccups. I'm having trouble with my lighting now. I will say, both sides have, like, really, really held onto the foundation. Like, the foundation looks really flawless. Both sides. The, just the texture on my right hand side is just so much smoother than the left like that's crazy and i don't know what it is like maybe it's the lack of ingredients maybe it's they've used like a better or worse quality ingredient 
maybe it's the in in um what's it called the chronology the um why do i do this <laughs> maybe it's the order of ingredients i'm going to use the elf blush this is an elf primer infused blush but it doesn't say what the name of it is on it i should probably have memorized that i've applied way too much blush as always so usually if I just grab a sponge it usually blends it out really easily but that is kind of clinging see that's better like it applied so much more sheer maybe it's because I sheared it out but that's a little bit more sheerer sheerer is that even a word she even more sheer okay and also my application is different <laughs> oh you put two different primers on your face and suddenly you're putting on blush differently too I always had to put some on my nose because it's cute. I don't know. Oh, that's... That's weird. Why did it apply like that? I look like I'm sunburnt now. <laughs> What's going on? I'm using the Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light because I said I was going to finish this in my... What was it? The declutter? So I'm going to finish it. I notice I haven't used any cream... Like cream face products today. Like I haven't used cream... Blush or cream contour or cream, cream highlight. I was going to use the Charlotte Tilbury the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but I just forgot. Oh, that applied highlight really nicely and it caught onto it really nicely. And let's just put a little bit above my brow. This didn't glide over as well, but it's also, but it's, it's grab, but the highlighter is going on really nicely, I will say. A bit more nicer on this side. Why do I like this side better? Like, what is going on? Why am I on Urban Decay's side here? And why did I go into this thinking milk would be better? Even though I've seen, I've seen a little bit of a review someone did where they compared these and I think they thought the Urban Decay one was nicer, but I was like, surely not, surely not. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly do a really minimal eye look and put lipstick on and we'll be back. Hi, um, I'm just doing my mascara and I just wanted to show you the Pillow Talk lashes by Charlotte Tilbury because look at my eyelashes look at the difference like that's just one layer so let's just do another layer I don't know I'm like obsessed with this mascara already that's insane it reminds me of the Kush mascara by Milk Makeup I'm so glad I bought this mascara I was gonna say like what the heck was the point for paying an extraordinary price for another mascara by Charlotte Tilbury but that is crazy has an interesting wand. One side has tinier spokes and the other side has kind of thicker spokes. I don't really know. I think one is supposed to curl and one is supposed to define. I usually just look for volume because I already have the length, but this one just mainly seems to lengthen and kind of thicken, but I still want more volume. I think that's what I'm looking for. But this is a really good mascara. This is up there with one of the, some of the best mascaras I've ever used. Oh, this eye is always the worst though. It's in, like the ends are never as long as the other side. But yeah, I usually stray away from high-end mascaras, but this is amazing. I've really wanted to try the the new Hourglass ones and like the Marc Jacobs one. So you just get a lash comb and just brush through. Oh, be careful you don't like hit your eye. So I'm done with the, the look. I'm just going to go over it and spray it with the What It Do um, Makeup Setting Spray by Fenty. This is an amazing setting spray. I love it so much. Ready? Okay, hold on. Let me get in. I'm obsessed with it. This is the final look. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Side. And this is the Milk Hydro Group side. So both the primers grouped under the foundation really well. They both applied them really well. But there is 100% a clear difference in the texture of my skin. And that is this All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. My face is very normal. Um, there's no real problems that I have with it. It's a little bit sensitive. The texture is really good. I've been really good with my skincare. Um, I just, obviously I have a little bit of acne on my forehead, like hormonally, but typically there's no, I don't have t issues with texture typically or, um, or pores or anything like that. 
Um, I'm very lucky in that sense. I do just have like obviously my creasing and my smile lines are really intense. Obviously, you can see like they go in. So that is always like a little bit of an issue. But this side, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's actually really, really pretty. But you can just see a really clear difference. And I want to get my sister in. But this is like really nice, like glowy, like it, like really reflective. And this side isn't as reflective. But for some reason, it's smoother. I don't know. I'm going to call my sister in and get her to like guess which side is which um and ask her what side she thinks is looks better because i might think that this side looks better but someone else might think this side looks better because of the way that it, things have applied onto the skin like this one kind of like allowed things to move around and may, may have made things look smoother but this might be gripping onto things a bit better so who knows i might have to wear it for a couple more hours to have a look but i'm gonna grab my sister and we can see okay which side do you think is which and which, wait first of all which side do you think looks better my right or my left? They both look pretty similar. Really? You can't tell the difference? I think that's milk and that's Urban Decay. You think this is milk and yeah. this is Urban Decay? Yeah. No, this is Urban Decay and this is milk. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, this is smoother. I can just tell, like, around here that this is smoother. But they and look I've... very similar. Yeah, they do, don't they? And yeah. they apply, like... They applied similar on the skin. I know you have to go, but they apply very similar on the skin. Yeah. But when I put the foundation on, this like glided over it and this, oh, I have to go get the laundry. But this was a bit more streaky. But after I blended it, it was fine. But I can just really tell the difference. Like this is a bit smoother. But this applied like the blush nicer. Mm -hmm. It's more reflective. Yeah. Interesting, huh? I really did. Like, I think because this already existed, that they really tried to, like, they make were like, we're going to make this better than this. Even though you get, like, less product uh, yeah. in here. You get, Maybe like, a little bit goes a long way, though. Yeah. Sorry, I'm coming back. Close the door, please. So I'm going to sit around for a couple of hours. Maybe I'll do some editing. Maybe I'll grab a snack or something. I, it, is, it is literally 9 o'clock in the evening, which is annoying. I wanted to get this filmed earlier, so I had more time to wait around, but... Yeah, otherwise my skin looks really good. Like it does, like now that it's settled in a little bit, it looks really good. But I just, I'm impartial to this side. Kind of looks better on this side, though, on camera. Anyway, I'll stick around for a little bit more and we'll see. And it is now 1.21 a.m. So we've had this on for about, oh my God. Ew, my lips. Let's do something else, huh? Hmm. This is nice. Gorgeous. So I'm looking at it. Head on. That's weird. Why did it do that? So the skin looks absolutely amazing. Like on both sides, absolutely stunning. I was in my bathroom before and I looked plastic. I don't think foundation has ever looked as good as when I'm wearing these primers. However, I do have to say that this primer played a bit better than this one I will have to say that it just is smoother it looks more hydrated I will have to say there are things that did apply a bit nicer on this side but the way that they applied on this side and the way that it looks now and I'm, I'm mainly looking around this area I'm gonna zoom you guys in can you see like you can I'm not like pretending here like there's definitely more texture here than here and I've had this on for about four hours. Wait, I've had this on for about four hours. So it's like 1.30 now. So I'm going to have to say that if you're going to pick between these two, I'd go for this one. Better value for money is this. And all you're looking at is a tiny little bit of texture that like, honestly, you could like blend out and it wouldn't even, no, it, it's not a big deal. I do, I am going to say that this is better, but... You could go either way, and I think you'll have a fun time. So yeah, the the foundation finish is smooth. Everything looks really, really nice. Like you, you're gonna have a good time which with whichever of these you pick. But I really, really do think this one is better. As I as I'm I'm trying to like basically tell you that they're both stunning, and you're not going to, unless you have a really, really hard time with texture which I wouldn't know what to tell you in that case. You'll have to find someone that actually has a texture problem. But 
What's, I've seen people, a lot of people with acne use this and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of those TikTokers, um, that Michaela lady, I don't know her name, but she's on TikTok and she seems to love, use this and love this. So I feel like you're going to be good no matter what. This just gives a little bit more of a glow. It is, it is called All Nighter Ultra Glow. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like this is, this is it. You're going to have a fun time regardless. And um, thank you for watching my video. Um, otherwise, I don't know what to say. And also this, um, this Fenty thing. It's okay, but it doesn't really help these little hairs, the really long hairs at the end. But uh, maybe that just might take a little bit more of like finessing. Um, or pressing down again. And this mascara is absolutely stunning. And otherwise, that's all. I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, natural lighting. This is the first time I'm filming with natural lighting like forever. After I did a comparison, I wanted to upload that video, this video that you're watching right now. I wanted to upload it yesterday because I want to at least try to get a weekend situation going and like a weekday situation going. Um, but alas, I am a lazy piece of crap and I just didn't. So he told me to, um, film a comparison but like on the switch side of my face just to check in just to make sure that like one side of my face is like a good side and the other side isn't um and i'm to that i was like what because last time i filmed on this i put i put the urban decay on this side and i put the milk on this side but this time i switched them and funnily enough the milk side actually looks better this time but i use a different foundation i use the nars i always forget what this is called the natural radiant natural radiant longwear this is one of my favorite foundations of all time I also use the Hollywood, Hollywood Flawless Filter like under the foundation, so over on top of this primer. And maybe it is the natural lighting. This side looks like everything kind of clung onto it better. The foundation clung onto it better. This side... Sorry, I'm just going to like... You can... This side is more radiant and this side is more matte. I did use like more of a matte setting powder. And this side applied the product better like I did last time. The applied product better. It's not one smoother side. They actually look the same in terms of smoothness. I remember um, the Urban Decay one just looking smoother. But what foundations did I use with that one? I used the um, ooh, I used the YSL one. So that's interesting. So obviously the different things are going to work with different foundations. I know I've heard that the this um, Milk Hydro Grip doesn't work well with like um, the Anastasia foundation. But right now, I'm liking this side. So I'm mad at my friend because I thought that the difference was going to be the same. But it kind of is a bit different. And so, Hassal, I'm really mad at you right now. Okay. So, I'm going to do... Um, I'll let, I'll come back at the end of the day. I'll be wearing a mask. I'm just going out to the park. Um, so, on when I finish my day, I'll come back and I'll talk to you. And I'll tell you how it went out. Because it needs a bit of a wear test. And I thought I'd just add this on as an extra video. To this video to make it even long even longer by the way my lip combo that i'm wearing just in case anyone asks um it is beautiful stranger by pat mcgrath and i just kind of blotted it and then on top i put these i'm really excited about these this is the tower 28 uh milky sh lip jelly shine on lip jelly but the milky one in coconut and it's really really nice and i'm gonna be wearing a mask anyway so it's like what's the point but yeah cute and my hair's still wet from washing it so okay I'll check in with you. <laughs> check this side and this side. Oh, this one made more of an imprint. Otherwise, oh my god. This foundation already makes me look like flawless. So now I just, I literally, like I said last time, I look plastic. No, no. Oh, uh, and my, I've plucked my eyebrows a bit too far apart. I do admit. Oh. It's hard to do that one. Okay. It's hard to do it one-handed. I'm home. I was at Costco and I had my mask. Obviously, I had my mask on pretty much the whole day, but look at my mask. I hate this. Are you talking to someone? Talking to my phone. I don't know if you can even see. There's an, they probably look the same, but like, which side? Okay, this side was milk and this side was open to kale. What is happening? It's like the complete opposite of last time. By the way, this is my phone front-facing camera. I'm just going to put a lip, oil, lip product. These Tower 28 lip glosses, oh. If you can get access to them, I got mine off Revolve. Um, but they sell them at like Sephora US. First of all, this eyeshadow creases. I used the ColourPop 
by my birdie. I used Boo Bird. Can you even see that? I used Boo Bird just all over the eye. Just as, as like a one and done. But it creased. Love that. Okay. They look the same. They they look the same. Slight, slight better texture on this side, which is a milk side, which is weird. I, I'm kind of upset at this review because I wanted a clear winner. I wanted to say, this is what you should go out and get because, oh God. I wanted to be like, okay, this is what you can go out and get so that you, you know, you're getting the best product. But really, I think what it really ends up coming to is accessibility. The Milk Hydro Grip is better value for money because you're getting more for, I guess, less, kind of. If you can't access milk, then and you're probably going to be able to access Urban Decay. I'm just thinking if you're in Australia and you don't want to pay a lot of money for shipping from Selfridges or you don't have anyone to forward the milk products to you or you just think that they're too expensive to get to you, um, then, you know, this is a good substitute. It's a good thing, but... I should just hold them like that so that you know which side is which. But really, when it comes down to it, there's no difference. There's really no difference. In the end, there's no difference. Like, milk applies the product a bit better. Like, if you can tell, it's, it's a bit patchier on this side. Even though, like, I wasn't the best at application today. I was in a bit of a rush. But, yeah. There's no clear winner. They, both of them are really, really nice. And... Both of them, you're going to get a good result from. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a clear winner. But that's okay because it just goes to show that they're both really good and it just comes down to what you prefer. If you prefer not supporting Urban Decay just because they've been kind of met lately, I feel like this is one of their best products that they've come out with in a while. Or most interesting products they've come out with in a while. And it's a dupe. So it's like, what are you trying to do here? Regardless. That's what I think. That's my opinion. And um, yeah, I did it on two separate occasions with two different foundations. With my YSL Touche Clough foundation, um, the it preferred Urban Decay. And with my NARS Natural Radiant foundation, it preferred Milk Hydro Group. It really depends on what foundation you use. Um, yeah, so otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm looking at my under eyes. Um, under eye wise, the Urban Decay is still better, like last time. Um, and smile line wise, you can tell my smile lines are less on this side. And then if you look under my eyes, if I just move my under eye a bit, yeah, you can tell. It's only 7.30 and I've had it on since 2.30, so it's been about five hours. Um, and the, the foundation looks great it looks fantastic um unless i have anything else to um update you with i, I might actually just stop the check-ins here so i can edit up edit this video and upload it and then i can see you next time